What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're looking at a lamp. But not just any lamp, this one actually solves a problem. It's from a company called BenQ, the Screen Bar E-Reading Lamp. One of the biggest problems with desk lamps is light glare on monitors. There's ways that you can get around that. You can get like a uh, screen anti-glare protector or you can just not use a lamp at all. Maybe you're working and you don't want to light up your whole room. Maybe you just want to light up your workspace. Well, this actually allows you to do it, but in a very discreet manner. It actually goes on top of the monitor and it's USB powered. It's auto dimming, it has hue adjustment, and it's all by these little touch buttons on the top. I think it's touch, it looks like touch. What it specializes in is illuminating only the desk and bypassing the monitor completely. Even though it's sitting on top of the monitor, the light itself should be directional to just what's on the desk, which is really cool. I actually really like that idea. I personally don't use lamps on my desk just because it takes up more space, but I just might actually start doing so with this. So this will fit on any screen that's 0.4 inch to one and a half inch or one to three centimeters thick. So if you have like a if you have like a big CRT monitor, this isn't gonna work. You're gonna need something a little more modern. Is there any English? There's no English. Don't need it. English? No English. Don't need it. But there is English on here. Oh, that is so small. Oh man, talk about discreet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, those are touch. Very, very cool. I'm really digging that. Here is the actual mount bracket. Oh wow. Oh, it goes all the way around. There we go. And then we've got the USB cable. All right, the USB cable, oh yeah, about a five and a half foot USB to micro USB cable, perfect length. Okay, so the mount itself, it's got, uh, this is where you actually put it in, and then right here you got this lip, and you've got, it's got this nice rubber padding right here, and right here it's got this nice, almost sticky rubber on the back, so it doesn't damage the, even the back of your monitor. So that's very well thought out, but this thing right here is like a whole counterweight. Look at that. All right, now the lamp itself. So it looks like this is how you're gonna turn it on. You've got your temperature here. I don't know what this is. Um, I don't know what that is either, and that's power. I don't know if that's, you know what, let's just try it out. On the back side, you can see there's the LED strips. It's brushed aluminum. There we go. So once you, once you get it clipped on there, you get the USB port coming right out the back. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, all right, so we're gonna touch it. Oh, it's just a barely a little touch. Oh, okay, that's the auto dim, that's the auto adjustment. So this right here is actually a sensor, so it's looking at the brightness in the room. So as it gets darker, if you do the auto dim, it's gonna be even, it's gonna be even less bright, but you can adjust that yourself. Temperature. Oh yeah, oh, I like that. So you can get that brown look to it, that warm look. There you go, super warm, look at that. And then you can go all the way to super white. Oh, I like that a lot. That's true light right there. Man, that is, that's seriously bright. Ah. Okay, so this one you can manually adjust the brightness yourself. Oh, if you hold it down, it'll go through until it hits the bottom, or you hold it down again, it'll go all the way up. Oh, that is so cool. All right, let's try this out. There's only one way to see if this thing works. Okay, so now when you wanna go and put it on, Basically, you just put it on the front, and then there you go. That's what it looks like. You can see my finger. See the shadow? See that? And it goes all the way down. So it ne the beam, the beam of light itself actually never touches the monitor. It's about an inch away from the monitor. That's that's pretty cool. All right, let's turn this thing on. Let's see how it actually looks in the real world. Now I'm actually using my miniature, tiny, itty bitty little Azul PC. I've been using this thing ever since I un unboxed it. This thing is amazing. This stays in my bedroom, basically. If you didn't see that, go check out that video right here. It's this thing is awesome. Full blown Windows 10. This is what it looks like when, you know, there's light. So I'm gonna turn it on. Nothing has changed. Look how well this lights up the whole thing and the monitor itself didn't change. Obviously I'm in a well lit area, so I'm gonna do the auto adjustment um, now, considering that it's really bright, it auto adjusts to a certain warmth, which that's why now it looks a little more warm and brightness. Let's go all the way orange. Whoa, look at that. So if you want orange, you could do orange. I like this, this is more my style. All right, let's try this, but with the lights off. I'm gonna turn these lights off. Oh man, that looks so awesome. In the monitor itself, there's no noticeable glare. This looks really good. I am so surprised at how well this looks. Here's the image with the light off, all right? 
and the image with the light on. Notice that there's no visible difference here. Now, the light that this is picking up is, is actually a reflection from the table because this is a white table. It's gonna reflect upward. So if you have, say, like a darker desk, like a, like a wooden desk, which a lot of people do, you know, it's gonna be less glare. So the more dark you have down here, the better it's gonna be. But as far as the screen hitting it itself, like if I were to adjust it just a little bit, now you see that it's, it's hitting here. But if I move it away, it's no longer hitting up here. Man, this thing is awesome. I gotta say, I didn't think I was gonna, okay, you know what, I'm turning the lights on. <laughs> I gotta say, this thing solves so many problems for me and when it comes to desk lamps. I, this thing is so impressive, I am I like this a lot. I'm gonna be using this for sure. You know, it's so thin and low profile, the touch, and the technology that goes into like this touch panel and just how good of quality everything seems to feel, you know, 100 bucks is probably pretty justified. It's pretty good, I really like this thing. Anyway guys, alright, that's it. I'm gonna leave it in your hands. I'll leave a link down in the description below, but as for now, get out of here.